Hey everybody, Mars here. Uh, I have a few quick things I want to get into before I get into the battle reports. Uh, first off, the KVK war was won by my kingdom. We're very excited about that. That is what we strive for each and every KVK. Uh, we did lose the Tournament of Kingdoms, uh, but that is kind of a secondary achievement for us. Uh, I want to thank Anna for letting me play with her castle during this uh, particular Tournament of Kingdoms. Uh, she was on vacation and it was a pleasure to play with her account during the KVK War. Uh, 301, or 300 I should say. Uh, thank you guys, you were very courteous and you were good hosts. And thank you very much for that. You guys were very smart about protecting your Tournament of Kingdoms uh, win by holding down your throne with uh, a player like Jack, your uh, high-powered uh, player. Uh, it was going to be very costly or uh, just impossible for us to take your own throne from, from us. So that was very smart on your part. Uh, Although, I feel like you could have probably taken our throne and uh, forced us to take it back from you. And in that case, you could have maybe won the uh, KVK war. Uh, my strategy for my castle, not Anna's, was to just kill anything that's open and anything that would get me points. Uh, I wanted to be very aggressive this KVK, and I was able to do that. I was actually beat out by Anna by 2,000 points for third, uh, which is kind of funny considering I did that to myself, but Anna has the superior castle, and it would have been a shame for me to sandbag that. Uh, my strategy for Anna's was to kind of utilize her to take out all of those really hard um, castles that we weren't going to be able to get to without clearing the front line, uh, taking down turrets, and just kind of making through uh, 300's uh, life difficult. Uh, just kind of clean up, get some really good kills in there, set a few rallies, uh, just kind of use Anna's castle as a support and uh, also a great tool of destruction. And uh, one of the things that I just want to put out there before we go into this is a little bit of T10 infantry goes a long way. So what I've really come to notice is when you put T10 with uh, pretty much any other troop type, it, it eats up all of the kills, it's a meat shield, and it allows those other troops to just really do what they do best. So uh, when you're thinking about things, think about the best way to use your T10 infantry. And sometimes it's better just to use all T10 infantry and just hit hard and really use that HP that they're really good at. Um, and then other times it's better to just throw in a little bit, soak up all that damage, and then use your other troops. Uh, I am releasing a second video that's going to have the gameplay footage on it. It's not going to have any commentary or anything on it, it's just purely going to be the gameplay. I had enough gameplay footage uh, that I just didn't really want to try and fit this into a really, really long video. So uh, this is the choice I made. Hopefully you guys like it and uh, we'll move on. Well, I'm going to move into the battle reports and then we'll conclude after that. So I have a lot of battle reports, so I'm not going to go through all of them. I just kind of want to show you that... Uh, kind of went all out and uh, just really stuck to battling and uh, not being as defensive. So I'm going to just select a few of these that I felt were good and I could uh, point out a few things where I could have done better or uh, just good results. Have you guys ever noticed that 
your first attack you get a lot more kills and then the attacks after that you get quite a few less well this is a pretty common occurrence in rise of kings and we can't really say for certain why but it has to do with just the amount that is available to be killed so if you look at the following attack i have a hundred thousand kills less so that's just something to be mindful of zeroing out a castle if you're going to be taking heavy losses may not be the best thing for you if you're not going to be getting high amount of kills but if you are then that might be really good for you now this was my first like real hit this was against a legendary and uh, I was for the most part very happy with this result I used my urgent care and I really wanted to try and use um, this new orange tank hero and just see how he does I was uh, not overwhelmed with how well he did but he also is only 80 but at the same time he did pretty good work overall so um, you know I I attacked in with all infantry and I got a pretty good kill death ratio and I got um, quite a bit of kills so that is always good he uh, ported out immediately after I attacked him but uh, as you can see that was a uh, fairly good attack 1 million power differential there so yeah so this was my first rally that I did for this KVK and I found it interesting because of how the kills came out and who got the kills so uh, pretty successful rally um, got a good power differential there and uh, his stats you can definitely tell by the heroes on his walls that he didn't have his attack, attack buffs on and uh, he was not fully prepared so that really benefit benefited us in this regard now our t10 cavalry did really really well in this particular rally and you can see that um, they pretty much made up all of the kills but uh, what was sad is uh, that our t11 infantry did practically nothing and I think that's in combination of the fact that some people um, put t9 cavalry in there and uh, just the large amount of t10 infantry uh, combined just kind of never gave the t11 uh, spearmen a chance to really do any damage at all so i've noticed that t11 infantry don't go very well with t10 cavalry and uh, i will do further testing on this but it seems as if it's better just to send a little bit of T10 infantry and send T10 cavalry and T11 cavalry with those small amount of um, T10 infantry. So here's another report where I was very happy with the results. Uh, really good power differential. Really like that. Um, and once again, I ran that uh, infantry combo with the increased HP and reduced damage. Uh, the person that was holding this building uh, did not have the best stats, and I took full advantage of that. Uh, I got sent all T10 infantry and got 300,000 kills, so that was good, and uh, for the most part, most of those were just uh, on T9 level, so 
not particularly great, but still the kills were there, and I was happy with the power differential, so I call that a win. So here was the really fun one for me. This guy is uh, a pretty large spender. Uh, he has his Dolan skilled really high, got it up to 18,000 power, so that's really great for him. Um, he has like almost 200 million power, but he has like no kills. And from what I can tell, most KVKs, he sits on their own, their turrets and on their palace and just holds them. So that could be why he has so little kills with that much power. And uh, he's a legendary five. But he uh, led a rally against me, and he did kill quite a bit of troops. Um, I would have liked a little better than that, um, but that's not how it turned out. I did tone down my Rafi a little bit, and um, kind of threw some of the skills elsewhere, and uh, toned down my defense a little bit just because I'm not getting hit as often. So, just comparing the stats, um, I have a much higher defense and uh, a good amount of more HP than he does. He has me on the attack for the Calvary, and then I have um, a little bit higher defense, and then he beats me just by a little on the HP. But, uh, just a really solid defense for me. Uh, he got almost all of the kills here, and then he kind of just sacrificed all of his teammates. Uh, look at that, the T10 did very, very well. Uh, the T10 cover, I should say. Uh, the T10 siege didn't really do that much. Um, pretty much just allowed all the T10 infantry to, to die and not do a whole lot. Uh, as you can see, I, pretty much all of my losses were from the from my T10 infantry, and uh, then I have some from my T9 infantry as well. And then I think what happened is uh, these cavalry right here, they were able to charge, which means that they hit you from the back of the formation, which explains why. Uh, all my archers are dead. Uh, well, almost all of them. So, yeah, I had T11 infantry and some T10 infantry uh, reinforcing my castle, which made this uh, quite successful. Uh, if it wasn't for those T10 Cavalry charging, I think that this might have been more successful of a battle for me, but uh, they did, and they were able to hit my archers in the back, and that's all she wrote. I did send out all of my siege uh, so that they wouldn't be a part of this battle, um, because I typically find that they uh, they increase my front lines uh, casualties. So that's why I do that. But I took this guy on in his rally and I like the power differential, so I'll count that as a good battle. This was a case of a very, very good rally led by Anna. Um, and just really successful. Not a whole lot to really talk about on that point. <laughs> but what I did was I got very confident and I decided to try and solo him after. Which, as you can see right here, went very, very poorly for me. Uh, the reason why it went so poorly is because he has all this T11 infantry in his castle. Now you say, well, it doesn't look like he got a ton of kills off of that. He only got 50,000. 
Well, it's just the fact that when they are added to the line, it makes a huge difference. Uh, just their presence there for some reason just really bolsters your defense. Uh, I still would have lost this battle, I think, if you took out those. Um, I was way over eager and just not being smart. But if you take those out, I think that I would have gotten a lot more kills, and uh, I think that probably my dispatch still would have gotten eaten up, but uh, it wouldn't have been so bad. So, I thought this was a very interesting defense that I had, uh, mostly due to the fact that he attacked me with T11 Siege with his infantrymen. So <laughs> I didn't particularly understand why he did that. It didn't seem as if it benefited him at all. But as you can see, I didn't really um, have any trouble taking that on. And I didn't even have reinforcements or anything and he barely was able to do much to me at all. So. I'm not going to say that we can just put that to bed, that idea. His stats aren't up to what I would expect for a Legendary 3. Uh, but it's nice to know that just uh, just because you have T11 and OK stats, I guess you would say, I think most people would agree that though it's not up to par for a Legendary 3. Um, you can't just attack into whatever you want and let the the units do the work. You kind of have to actually give them good armor and buff them up. So yeah. So as you know, I got to play with Ana's account for a little bit. And uh, I got to have some fun. And this guy, he had joined a rally against one of my members. And... I decided I would just try and zero him while he was in that rally, and I got pretty close. Um, I also really wanted to use Jansen because I think he is amazing. Now he is not skilled or fully put up to 120 uh, because Anna had not up to this point used him. So uh, just looking at this report, you got a. Uh, pretty dang good kill death ratio there that's so good and uh, 547,000 kills that is solid solid work and so this was an active player taking these hits so um, after we got the first hit down and then we go to the second used uh, some Gideon with some Ren so that was good uh, solid hit and then uh, just keep going went and sent some T11 cavalry now we're starting to get down to where the power differential is not as great and then it's just start getting gets into slim pickings um, yeah and then just keep on going and then at that point just just trying to finish him off he kept on getting reinforcements so yeah this was uh, one of the rallies that a tray you took and uh, you know it was a loss but uh, still he got some pretty good points from it and uh, his stats are solid they're really good um, he just took on uh, a lot of T11, I wouldn't say a lot, just a good amount. Um, let's take a look here. Lost all of his T10 infantry, um, his T10 cavalry did really well. Let's look at his reinforcements, okay, uh, yeah. 
I guess it came down to the fact that he didn't have enough infantry to really take on this kind of hit and, and win in a fashionable manner. But still, solid. Really good job. So on this hit, I tried Rin Steel Shaper with Jansen versus this Mori, Astar, and Rafi. So these two heroes particularly lowered uh, Ana's attack a lot because I've seen it get clear up to 500 when uh, enough of the attack buffs are activated, be it a castle theme or whatever else. But still, very, very successful when you have all of that damage being reflected back. Uh, it makes a pretty significant da uh, dent in people's armor there. So we're going to look at it. Um, it just comes down to killing off all that front line troops and uh, taking out all those all those uh, troops and trying to get dig into that back line. Uh, she was able to bubble up pretty quickly after this and put on a shield, but I would say this was a very successful hit. Well, in conclusion for this video, I want to talk about rallies versus solos. So if you're looking to get the most points and to have longevity through fighting through an entire KVK, uh, solos are the way to go. And the reason being is you lose less and you'll uh, be able to get more points in the long run. Now if you're looking for bulk points and you just want to be able to be heal up and everything else, you're going to have to take on several different rallies and shield up for the ones that where you know you're going to take a lot of losses and only take the ones that are going to be weaker. Uh, Rallies are going to typically include deaths, it's not just going to be all heals. Uh, if somebody is rallying you in that way, they should probably not rally you at all. Uh, so what I'm going to say is taking rallies is a lot of fun and if you do it, you should do it for fun. And this game is meant to be really fun warplay especially during the KVK because you can get KVK water for fairly cheap or even free if you are aware of how to do that. But uh, taking on rallies doesn't exactly mean that you can just keep on taking rally after rally after rally and you'll have the whole entire KVK to play. Uh, sometimes you'll take one or two rallies and you'll realize that all of your infantry is gone and now you just have uh, cavalry, archers, and siege left. And that's kind of what it came down to at the end. I was attacking with siege and archers and everything else, and those are not my forte troops. So something to think about. Uh, throne. Uh, they were able to hold on to their throne. They made it uh, kind of to the point where they were saying, hey, we're going to make this insanely costly for you to take it. Um, and it was just not a high pr priority on our agenda. We knew that we had the superior fighters overall, um, at least in numbers, and we knew as long as they didn't take our throne, we would win the KVK war, and we were okay with giving up the loss for the Tournament of Kingdoms. Um... I don't think that you need to use your high-end troops when you're attacking smaller castles. Uh, you might have a lot of T9 infantry in your castle, or even use um, just cavalry or um, siege and archers. I was noticing that I was still getting pretty good kill-death ratios and pretty good uh, kills when using my siege and my... Uh, archers against some of these lower uh, smaller castles so that's something that um, you guys really should think about when you're going out there and just cleaning up because I know a lot of us just want to get points 
wherever we can find them. And so, maybe save your quality troops for quality targets. Uh, I'm going to uh, put this out there. If anyone wants me to review one of their reports, uh, leave me a comment in the in the section and uh, I will try and get in contact with you and you can show me that report and I can hopefully put it in the next uh, video I put out. Uh, if I get a ton of these, I'm just going to have to select one. Uh, but usually uh, the comments aren't flowing really hard on KVK videos, so we'll just kind of see what we get. Uh, well, that's all I got for this uh, KVK video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and learned something. Once again, I release, I'm release i releasing a gameplay uh, footage uh, video. I will put that in the description below. And if you guys are interested in watching that, uh, I thought that there was some pretty entertaining uh, hits in there, some mistakes. Uh, and you guys can uh, say, hey, why'd you do this? And I can, we can have a conversation about it. Well guys, I will catch you on the flip side, and I wish you guys luck.